Hello everybody and welcome back to more Goldeneye. Um, this time we are on mission 5, Seberunaya Pato Ni Chikakichi. So this is the same as um, Bunker 1, it, you know, they don't even number them in Japanese for some reason. Um, anyway, Hisunin. Sudafuristo to something? Zan shoku mono? Zan shoku sharisto no hikaku. Uh, something about comparing. I don't know. This must be something else. I don't know what, what this kanji is. Um, that's strange, that one. Let's have a look. I'll see if shoku returns any. with it. Um, we've got this. Oh, here we go. Jun Shoku. What on earth? I've never seen that in my life. But apparently, <clears throat> Jun Shoku means um, dying at one's post, being killed in the line of duty. So, uh, yeah. So you're comparing the staff list with the list of uh, those killed, I guess, uh, previous... No, perhaps not previously. In Surface 2, it said that, that they would uh, they knew there was a gunfight here, right? So I guess it's um, Oromov and Xenia, isn't it? They come in the film and they kill uh, everybody. <laughs> uh, a bit horribly. Um, so yeah, there you go. So you're comparing just the list of the dead with the list, with the staff list for the for the base, um, and I guess that's, um, or in the film, I think that's how they find out about Natalia or whatever, isn't it? I, I don't know. Anyway, and then Hikaku. I'm pretty sure that's Hikaku. Just means compare, doesn't it? Um, yeah, Hikaku comparison. It's kind of interesting that there's not a verb in this. <clears throat> it just says like the comparison of. Uh, the list of the dead with the staff list, and there's like there's not there's not really a verb there, but you know, kind of, yeah, you kind of often don't need one in Japanese. It's quite funny. Anyway, kanshi kamera no loku ga loku ga te wo tori modose. Um, let me have a check of this. It's just throwing curveballs at me. Lokuga. Apparently, it is Lokuga, which is good. Um, you can kind of you can kind of tell what it's going to mean from it anyway. It's more it's just the reading that I was un unsure about. But you got you know Loku meaning like to record, and then Ga as in like um, you know screen or, uh, or or image or picture or whatever. So it's um, you know obviously a recorded image or record or video you know recorded tape <clears throat> kanshi camera we've covered quite a lot so that's just the surveillance cameras um recorded recording video or, or, or yeah recordings tori modose um toru means to take uh modosu means to uh yeah to 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 take something back with you doesn't it um modosu for sort of causing something to go back and modoru for something like going back there's but it's basically you know intransitive and transitive isn't it modosu is transitive and modoru is intransitive anyway so take so bring back the recording of the of the surveillance the surveillance camera recording so we've got kanji kamera wo tsubete hakai seyo we've seen that plenty of times already destroy all the security cameras Golden Eye no Manual wo Kaishu Seyo. I don't think there's much to go over here. Obviously, the English, this is manual. Manual. Uh, Kaishu, we've seen before, which was like collect or retrieve. And then Golden Eye, so Golden Eye, retrieve the Golden Eye manual. Um, Nataria to Tomo ni Dashutsu Seyo. We've seen Dashutsu before with the hostages in uh, Frigate or Frigate. I don't actually know how to say it. Um, 
But yeah, dashutsu means like to get out or to escape, doesn't it? I used to say this um, at the end of my the end of my work day at school when I was out in Japan um, as like a joke. I say like dashutsu shimas or sakini dashutsu shimas. I'm gonna <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna escape before you. Sort of yeah, but, uh, probably shouldn't have said that. Anyway. Nataria to Tomoni. So Tomoni just means like together, doesn't it? Or with. Um, I don't really know why it's Tomoni and not just To. There is a, a there is a difference in nuance. Perhaps like Tomoni is like more involved with the other person, so you're you're you know you're escaping together. Whereas if you just said Natari I thought that should say yo. I don't know. No, I don't know. I better not even guess to be honest, because I'm not sure what the difference is, but be aware that there is one. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Stage Haike. Mazuwa Dashutsu Surukoto. Um so first escape. <laughs> Get out. Uh, I guess they mean from the prison. Or do they mean yeah, they must do, right? Stuff food is to top June Shoku Sharis to what Kaishu Shi Sore wo Hikaku Sureba Yanusu wo Tebiki Shta Mono no Na Ga Hame Suru Hazu de Aru. So, obviously, the staff list and the list of the dead uh, retrieve Kaishu Shi Sore wo Hikaku Sureba. Uh, uh, if you compare those, Yanusu o Tebikishita mono. So Tebikishita, I think we said, was like guide, wasn't it? Or to lead. Um, our leads. Lead is misleading in this case. Um, yeah, it's like they, they, the, the person who helped them, wasn't it? Helped them in, sort of got them into the facility, which we know was Boris. <clears throat> So we're basically it's talking about Boris, the person who guided them into the facility or helped them into the facility or yeah, like let them in or whatever. I think. Um, so yeah, mono is person, no na na just means name, doesn't it? Um, it's basically the same as Nama, yeah. I suppose there are there's a big overlap of meaning, I imagine, but perhaps there are bits that don't overlap. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it's just someone's name. Ga hanme suru hazu de aru. Hanme suru is just like, you know, become clear, isn't it? Or to uh, be understood or to be revealed or whatever. Hazu is should, so we, we, someone's name should be revealed if we compare the lists. <clears throat> De Aru is just kind of like De Aru. It's just kind of a very like matter of fact form of des, I suppose, isn't it? Or da. Yeah, it's just kind of very um maybe formal might be the word. It's just kind of very literary, I suppose. People don't really say de aru, I don't think. <clears throat> anyway. Mata, is this tomata yosu wo loku gashita? Again, a weird comma, kind of a weird comma in my opinion. Kanshi kamela no video tape wo tori modosu hitsuyo ga aru. Mata, so mata can mean like again, doesn't it? It can mean again. Um. But in this case, it's like in addition, or it, you know, it can mean and. So in this case, it's like in addition to that. Tomata yosu. It might be tsukamata. I'm really not sure here. I think I've seen this kanji be used for tomaru. Tomaru? No, I'm thinking of torareru. What am I thinking of? It's probably tsukamaru. <laughs> I'm going to commit to tsukamaru. So it's all gold. Drop my controller. So it's tsukamaru. Da yosu. So, this is like a state of being, isn't it? Um, so, literally, it's kind of saying the captured state recorded 
um, surveillance camera. So, uh, wait, let's link it all together. Video tapers. So it's like saying the the videotape of the surveillance camera uh, that recorded the captured state. So yeah, Yulsu is like. Yeah, it's state, isn't it? But I don't, I can't really, can't really translate it more than that. Um, obviously, on the video, on the surveillance cameras recordings, you'll be able to see the all of the like workers there or whatever when they were uh, imprisoned or captured or whatever, and it's kind of referring to that state of them being captured at that point. So it recorded that moment, and you want to get the videotape that has that moment recorded onto it. Um, yeah, hard to explain, but there you go. <clears throat> Tori Modosu, we kind of covered in the objectives. That just means to, to, to get and bring back, or whatever, take back. Um, and then Hitsi Yoga Aru just means like there is a need. So yeah, it's like you have to do it. I think we've covered that a lot anyway. Um, Hokani mo is kind of like a set phrase. Um, Hoka means like other, and then ni, it's just kind of like, it's kind of like sore ni, isn't it? When you say sore ni, it's like in addition to what we've just said, and this is like. Hoka ni mo. This is kind of like other than that too. So we're kind of we're kind of still adding to what's been said before, but we're saying kind of bringing up a new point. I don't really feel that sore ni would be out of place here, to be honest. <clears throat> you're kind of maybe it's a bit like saying in a like as well on another note kind of thing this is anyway this is a very kind of set phrase um yeah you see it a lot um yeah again all hard to explain skamateiru mono ga ireba uh so this is like, yeah, captured person, if there is. Um, Suitsu. That's pretty rude. Suitsu mo. Uh, that person as well. Onajiku. In the same way or similarly. Tsurete kaeru no da. Tsurete means to like, to follow someone or to, yeah, to like tag along with them, I suppose. So tsurete kaeru means to like have them tag along with you I guess or lead them to lead them back Kayeru means <coughs> return doesn't it so Kayeru is just return yeah all right Emino Shile Nante Koto Des 007 really brilliant um Nante Nante Koto Des so Nan Nante yu koto is like. It's kind of like a. Nante, nante koto des. Nante des. Why am I saying des there? Nante koto des. Double up seven. Um, it's kind of like a, 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 a. What's the word? Not an em of emphasis, not an expression. Expression? Yeah, I suppose it kind of is. It's kind of an expression of... It's kind of similar like, to like, what the hell, isn't it? Or, oh dear, oh dear, I think. Nante koto. Nante koto. It's like you're kind of amazed by something in a... In a in a bad way in this case it probably can be used for good things as well but i don't know why i don't know why she's put des on the end 
kind of weird non tickle though this double out that um yeah anyway maybe check that out yourself because I cannot explain it Moshi Korega Gaidu e Morereba Wareware MI6 Sua Warai Mono ni Natte Shimai Mas. Okay, okay. So Moshi, I think we've covered before, that's kind of like a It's an unneeded like start of a conditional. You don't need to say this. She she could have skipped that and just said Korega Gaidu wa Moleleba But she decided to put Moshi. Uh, I don't know, usually it's submitted, I suppose, but anyway, Koringa Gaibu, that's like the outside part, isn't it? Literally, out, outside part, so I guess they mean outside world, or if it got outside of Sevenaya. E moreru, moreru means to like leak. Um, so yeah, it kind of means if it leaks out to the outside world. Um, moreba, yeah, leak out. Ware ware, that means we, doesn't it? Very. I've only really kind of seen this used in this game and Perfect Dark, to be honest. Ware ware. By Daniel Carrington and M. <laughs> so it seems to be a very kind of. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what kind of way of saying it is. But I suppose because she's the boss, she can kind of say this. What it, what it? I don't know. It doesn't sound uncool, like watashitachi or anything. I don't know. Maybe it's kind of a kind of a cool, kind of proper way of saying we. I don't know. Am I six wa warai mono? So warao means to laugh, doesn't it? So I guess warai mono is like you know we will be hilarious will be very laughed at will be the laughing stock isn't it what I'm on only not Naru is to become we've covered Shimao before uh, which means like an undesirable or unexpected result yeah uh, and obviously it's just been made into mus form through shoot Shimai Shimai mus Anata <clears throat> Gamodo Tekitara sugu ni ya moshi modotte koretara anata no shigoto buri wo sai check suru hitsuyo ga aru kamoshiremasen ga konkai no ninnu o kanryou dekireba subete wa mizu ni nagasu tsumori desu what anata ga modotte kitara oh okay i think i Is she sort of saying about me? It's kind of my fault that this is such a shit show. I don't know. Anata ga modotte kitara. If like obviously if you come back, suguni. That's like immediately suguni. And then she's sort of like correcting herself. She's going iya iya. She's changing her mind about what she's saying halfway through and saying iya, and then fixing it afterwards. Moshi modot. Koretara. So this is like the potential form of kuru, uh, potential conditional actually. Like if you can come back, koretara, anata no shigoto buri. Your shigoto buri. Buri. I actually am not sure. <clears throat> I know that furi is to pretend to do something. And sometimes that gets changed into buri. Maybe it's a word on its own. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. It's a word on its own. Okay. Shigoto buri. The way one works. So it's like how you... How you do your job or whatever. Anyway. Anata no shigoto buri wo sai check. Um, so the way you work, sai means just like again or for a second time, doesn't it? So sai chekusuru means like I'll, you know, I'll have to check, double check, basically, isn't it? I'll double check. We have to double check your way of doing things. 
uh, Hitsuyoga Aru Kamoshiremasen. Probably there is a need to check, double check your conduct, I suppose. Ga makes it into but. Konkai no Ninmu o, this time's mission. Wo kanryo dekireba, if you can complete this time's mission. Excuse me. Subete wa, that's like all, just everything, isn't it? Everything covered. Um, I guess all the way he works, like kind of everything that's happened so far on this mission, or everything we're, we're kind of mentioned here, everything we've discussed. Mizu ni nagasu tsumori desu. So I guess that means like, it almost matches in fact, maybe like water under the bridge. Mizu ni nagasu. Yeah, forgive and forget, it says. Mizu ni nagasu. Um, just a little bit of a point here that might not be needed, but it's obviously it's not Mizu de nagasu. It's not, I will, you know, wash it with water. It seems to be... Oh, actually, it's probably... Nagasu means to, like... To flush, doesn't it? And this is the transitive. So I guess it like flush it with water, flush it all, forget about it all, get rid of it in the water, maybe. Uh, and then anyway, that's very literal. As I said, it just means forgive and forget. And then sumori means to plan to or to have the intention to do that, isn't it? I've seen sumori used with. Um, when someone considers something to be to be done a certain way that maybe wasn't taken that way by someone else, it can mean that your intent, or as far as you are concerned, that you've kind of completed, I don't know, completed something or you've done something a certain way, it can be used in that sense as well. It doesn't necessarily mean to plan something or that you plan to do something. Um, it can mean that, that that you see something a certain way and that's how you see it. Uh, <clears throat> maybe things didn't go to plan, but you consider them done. You consider something complete and then you could use Tsumori about that, even though kind of technically you didn't finish. You could say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm finished as far as I'm concerned, I'm done sort of thing. So yeah, just a little random and kind of... Um, yeah, random example that's not the case here. Anyway, Q no Jogen. Koko wa kimi no saino wo motte kiri nukete kure. Saino is ingenuity, is it? Or ability? Saino. Talent, ability, apparently. Koko wa kimi no saino wo motte. Okay, so I guess it's like take or use all of your ability kind of thing and, you know, find a way out, make it out, get 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 out somehow sort of thing. Kiri nukeru, I think was in a previous mission, wasn't it? <clears throat> to cut one's way through, to tide over, to struggle through, to get over, so yeah. And then call call just means here, doesn't it? Or... Uh, yeah, in this place, it can be obviously physical or it can be like, you know, like figurative actually. Cool, cool. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Watashi no ieru koto wa sore kurai da. Um, alright. Yeah, that's not too bad, I don't think. So, uh, watashi no ieru. Ieru, this is the potential form of say. So it's kind of like saying, uh, the things. I am able to say, um, wa, <laughs> sore kurai da. Kurai means like around that, doesn't it? So sore means that. So it's like about that much. That's about all I can say at this point. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's about all I can say. Um, can't really say anything else, I suppose, because we, we, we probably haven't got any fancy gadgets or anything. <clears throat> What's this? Doku bowl? Better check that. I 
if I can type, which I can't apparently. Doku Bowl. It is <clears throat> Doku Bowl. Single cell isolation cell. Doku Bowl kara nuke dashita go. Maybe. Kimi no sobi shita mono ga mits gelalelu kamoshiranae. Okay. So uh nuke dashita go. So this is like after you've you know kind of found or improvised a way out of the cell once you've once you've managed to get out of the cell uh, um, the things uh, you had like equipped things you were equipping ga mitsuke lalelu kamoshiranai so mitsukeru uh, means to find and then mitsuke lalelu makes it potential so it's like you you, you will be able to find uh, Kamoshida and I is like probably, isn't it? So we covered that quite a few times already. So you probably will be able to find all of the things you were you had equipped after you have escaped from the cell. Sorida <clears throat> what? Um, La makes it like into plural-ish kind of, doesn't it? So sorera is like the the they. <laughs> They wa kanari no tema wo kakete atsumeta hin dakara narubeku mochi kayete kure yo. Um, kanari. Kanari means like. I see it gets translated as quite. Um, and. I suppose you can translate it as quite, but quite can be um, sort of not not a considerable amount. Actually, this this is the strong use of the word quite. So kanari, it, my dictionary here says considerably, which is a much better translation, I think. Um, there are two others. It says fairly which I don't think is a good translation, actually. And then it says quite, which it means in the, as I said, the strong sense of it. Like if you say something, it's quite good, it's quite good. You know, that means that it's, yeah, it's, it's it was it was pretty good. I was impressed with it. Whereas if you say, obviously, eh, it's quite good, then that's kind of the negative side, isn't it? That's sort of, that's not what kanari means. Um, so anyway, it's saying kanari no tema. Tema is like a, a, an amount of time or effort, I think, isn't it? Time, labor, labor, yeah. <clears throat> kanari no tema o kakete. Kakete, that's the, um, that's the, uh, the transitive form of to take or require or whatever. To take, I suppose, isn't it? Kakeru has loads of meanings, but it's kind of like kakete, he kind of poured or used a lot of labor or time to collect them atsumeta atsumeru to collect hin can also be read as shina um, i'm not sure here i'm gonna go with hin but i might be wrong uh, atsumeta hin dakara so they are they are all things that i you know used a considerable amount of time and and and, and effort in in acquiring or gathering together or uh, collecting or whatever. So, dakara so, narubeku mochi kayete kure yo. Narubeku, I think we've discussed in a previous mission, it was like um, where reasonable or where possible or like as much as possible, I suppose. Narubeku mochi kayete kure yo. Mochi kayeru means to like bring back or to take back or yeah. Uh, motsu meaning to to have or to possess and kayeru meaning to go back is this is the kanji for it it wasn't written in kanji before for some reason but yeah actually that's you can't see what that kanji is can you um there'll be a text document in the uh, in the description that you can use to look at that or well all of the text so far in fact and hopefully just all of the text to the game once I'm done with this, but uh, yeah, 
There should be a link to the text document so you can look at this without it looking so so unclear. Um, Money Penny, James, Skamata no Itami ga tsutawatte kuru yo da wa. So this is pretty. The first bit's pretty self explanatory, isn't it? It's just James and then Tsuka. I can't even say it. Tsukamata no. So. Skamaru means to be captured, isn't it? And then, no, this is a very feminine thing to do. Um, no, it's not. Never mind. No, it's not. I'm thinking of... I'm thinking of a... Is This is fine in questions. You can say this in questions. You can say no at the end of questions. But if you're telling someone something and you're a man, don't end it in no on its own. Because <laughs> you'll sound... Very girly, very, very feminine. Um, anyway, itami ga tsutawatte kuru yo da wa. Also, this wa as well is very uh, commonly a woman thing. Itami. <clears throat> itami is pain, um, ache. Uh, yeah, pain, basically. I'll just leave it at that. Pain ga tsutawatte kuru. Dawaru means to like to go a, a, across or something to 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 be handed down, to be introduced, to be transmitted. That was the word I was looking for. To be circulated, to go along, to walk along. So stawate kuru. So I guess that means pain will is coming to be handed down to you. It seems. <laughs> Dawa. Um, yeah, that's... Maybe maybe these are commonly used together, these two. Itami and Stawaru. I'm not too sure, actually, but... Uh, maybe they are. Uh, anyway, cool. That's that. Let's, uh, let's die in this mission a few times. Seberunaya Chikakichi. This is a hard level, isn't it? Oh, I might be able to... I've got to talk to people, haven't I? Easy love. Uh, Bondo. Dou yara boku ra wa doku bo nakama no yo da ne. So dou yara, as we've said before, is like seems. Boku ra. Boku is kind of a very modest, boyish kind of way of referring to yourself. Um... I used to say this a lot. Uh, I don't really like it, but I feel like the alternatives aren't aren't better. So, <laughs> so I was going with Boku, which, uh, as I say, it kind of sounds a little bit. Yeah, it's a bit soft, I suppose. Yeah. Anyway, la makes it like plural, and this is a misunderstanding I've seen people have about. <clears throat> about these kinds of things. Like, Natalia is a woman. So, whilst women can say boku, it's kind of rare unless they want to sound quite tomboyish. Um, and that's not that's not the misunderstanding. But um, I've seen people think that in order to talk about more than one person, you have to use a pronoun that's suitable for both of them, which is not how it is. James is using Boku in this case. And even though Natalia is a woman and probably doesn't want, doesn't use the word Boku herself, because it's James talking, he can, he can pluralize that as, he can still use this, this pronoun and then just pluralize it. Uh, he could have said Boku Tachi, maybe. You could probably say boku tachi. Um, but yeah, the, the, the pronoun doesn't have to match both of you. It's only the person talking that, that, it, that, it, that it has to match, I suppose. The bokura. So we. <laughs> bokura wa dokubo nakama. Nakama is, I think we've discussed before, like a uh, an acquaintance or a friend. It's, it's someone, well, literally, if we take the characters, it's someone who's like within... Your like relation, 
a relationship, isn't it? So it's, yeah. So it's like, doesn't quite mean friend. Like if you had a bandmate, for example, they, they probably would be your friend, but they wouldn't necessarily. And they'd still be your nakama because they are, yeah, you're like, you're like together as part of a, part of a group. Um, dokubo, bo, uh, nakama no yo dane. This is like, you know, seams again, isn't it? So we've kind of got a, a doubling up of like words that mean seam. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I won't. <laughs> I won't do that all the time. Um, onna it just says onna, so that means woman, obviously onna, because uh, we don't know her name yet. And she's saying so near, so near, uh, so near. This is very feminine because she hasn't put a da in the middle. If you're male, you'd say so da near. But yeah, she's saying so near, um, which is like, you know, that's right. Or quite um, fortunately, it's like saying that's so. That is so, isn't it? And it's, you know, the word is so. So it's pretty good that. So near. Tokoro de anata wa. I've got to stop. I've got, I'm trying too hard not to do a w womanly voice now and I'm going too far the other way probably tokoro de is basically just means by the way i don't know why though to be honest i could guess that tokoro <clears throat> means place doesn't it or a point in time or a place in time or whatever so maybe it says and this is pure guess here but maybe it's like um at this point yeah kind of like at this point um it's kind of interrupting at this point to bring up a new topic or whatever but that's pure pure guess and i'm probably completely wrong but yeah anyway it means like by the way anata wa and this is just bringing up the the topic of us isn't it saying like who are you but without actually asking a question or anything just saying anata wa yeah it's kind of a, it's pretty much a question on its own anyway isn't it anata wa Bondo this, James Bondo. So if you want to use, if you want to prove that you can speak Japanese, just say this. Bondo this, <laughs> James Bondo. It's quite funny because this would be the the other way round in, in, uh, in Japanese, wouldn't it? Surname comes first. So it'd be like Bondo this, Bondo James, which doesn't. Isn't this good? Lots of Bond on the screen right now, isn't there? Bloody hell. <clears throat> Onna. Watashi wa Nataria Shimyonoba. 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 Um, pretty straightforward, isn't it? It's just saying, I am Natalia Simeonova. Nataria Inamayeta. I've got to stop with this. Naze kimi wa koko ni toji kome lale te irundai. Why did he have to say that at the end? Seriously. Um, Nataria, that's the name, obviously. I namayada. So I just means good, doesn't it? So it's like, that's a good name. Cool name. Nice name. Um, naze is why. Kimi wa. Kimi is you, isn't it? So why you. Koko ni in here. Toji kome lale te iru. Um, Tojiru means to shut, doesn't it? And then, basically, like, kome lalelu means to be shut in somewhere, or locked in somewhere, doesn't it? Shut in somewhere. Kome lalete irundai. So this mm, uh, is just kind of, you know, makes the question very inquisitive, doesn't it? Uh, and then, dai. I don't really know. It's just kind of a funny thing people say at the end. Um, I think it kind of lightens up the the sentence a bit. It's softer than da. Naze kimi wa koko ni toji kome lale te irun da. Would be probably wrong, in fact. Um, yeah. I don't know, die. You'll see people use it. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure how to use it myself, but... Um, 
Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. Dai? I don't know. To me, it just makes it sound kind of funny. Makes it sound a bit more playful, I guess. A bit lighter. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, kale la wa watashi wo uragiri mono da to motemas. Okay, okay. Karera is they, isn't it? Or the, you know, the soldiers and the people, you know, holding us, Im imprisoning us. Karera wa watashi wo mi uragiri mono da to um, uh, a traitor think. They think, so they think I'm a traitor, basically, isn't it? Um, Watashi wo uragiri. So this is like, ura is like, uh, like the back side of something. It's like the back of something, isn't it? Um, or, uh, yeah, like a, like a, a, a part that you can't see or the back of something. Uh, so uri, uragiri, I suppose, is literally like, you know, cutting the back or stabbing in the back I, I suppose is quite a useful way to to translate it uragiri mono and then this is a person isn't it so i am a person who stabs them in the back dato they think uh yeah so they think i'm a, a traitor um son koku wo uragi da mono dato so this is just adding to the verb or the clause of what they think. So you notice we've got this toe here, which you need to link this to what they think. It's like it's the quoting particle, basically, isn't it? So you have to say what someone thinks and link it to think with toe. Um, or what they must. Uh, so she's saying, then she's adding to it and missing the verb off this time because she's already said it. So she's saying, da -da 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 -to, da -to. sometimes you don't even need to say the verb. <clears throat> um, you can just kind of use toe and it's because it's a quoting particle, it will be understood that you're expressing that something was either like said about you or that you said something or that you think something. Um, there's enough clues usually to know. So um I've got to look this up. I can't remember this. Is it so? <clears throat> I know it means like ancestor country. So I suppose it means like motherland or something. Let me just search for that kanji. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be so. So koku. Yeah, my dictionary says Sokoku, which has been translated to fatherland or native country. Why fatherland? What's wrong with motherland? I don't know. Anyway, Sokoku wo uragitta mono dato. So they believe I'm someone, um, they believe I'm a traitor who, you know, they believe I betrayed the, yeah, the motherland. Sore de honto no Tokura wa do nandai. Um, so he's saying, Sore de. I don't want to get into this too much, but I suppose he's probably saying, like, having said that, or with that, having said that, probably. Um, honto no tokura, tokuro wa. So honto means real, doesn't it? Really. So is it like, are there real parts? Do nandai. Do is like, uh, how? Um, so I suppose he's kind of saying like, how about there being true parts? Having said that. So he's, he's just asking her if, if it's true, isn't he? Basically. Mochiron Chigawa. Uragitta no wa urumosu yo, goru denai wo nerate iru wa. Mochiron chigawa. So mochiron is a, basically means of course, isn't it? <clears throat> um, and I've seen this be misunderstood as meaning, you know, a, a lot of the same ways that of course is used in English. Um, from what I can tell, mochiron 
is like it's only used when you're trying to insist that something is of course a certain way um there was actually a, a reddit post uh that i saw where excuse me um someone said um someone used it in the sense of oh of course like when they themselves had realized something um which is not you know that's not insisting to someone that something is that something is true or or whatever it's not insisting that's realizing something and then saying oh of course and that's not how mochiron is used so don't use it like that um yeah it might be used in other ways but um as i said from what i can tell from what i remember anyway <clears throat> it's it's definitely used more to just insist so she's saying of course it's not true so she's telling us she's insisting to us that it's not true um yeah Uragi wa. so the thing that i betrayed or the betraying the betraying was urumofu uragitano wa so i guess yeah damn so damn i think this is kind of a bit vague actually um uragi Danoa. This phrase in isolation, I think, could either be taken as um, Uramov was the one that I betrayed, which is how I initially understood this, actually. Um, but it's not what she's saying. Or it could mean um, the person who betrayed is Uramov, uh, which is what she's saying in this case, isn't it? But yeah. Um, uragita no wa urumofu yo. Okay, okay. Goriden ai wo neratte iru wa. So, nerao. I better check that. It's been a while since I've. Yeah, it's fine. That's totally right. Nerao means to aim for, doesn't it? To aim for or to aim at. So, he's so he's aiming at Goldeneye, or he's aiming to get Goldeneye, or he wants Goldeneye. He wants the Goldeneye, basically. <clears throat> Lots of text this time, eh? Um Akidi Urumafu Taisakai <laughs> Damn this guy What does he say Kai and Die? That's kinda of weird. Karitua Izen Attakiltungale. Um so he's just saying his name there, isn't he? Arkadi Urumofu Taisa. Taisa that's Colonel, is it? just look that up colonel or navy captain apparently so yeah it's just a it's obviously higher than chusa um but this is taisa we had chusa in surface two didn't we yeah yeah okay um kai and that's just again kind of like a playful thing of questioning i think but uh, again that's how i see it it just sounds kind of funny to me but perhaps it's not kai I don't know. Kareto wa izen atta koto ga aru. So with him, previously, uh, there is the thing of met, of met him. So it's like I have met him before, isn't it? This is a common structure. Um, you'll put a past tense verb, in this case, uh, uh, au, which has become atta to make it past tense. And then koto ga Aru means you've done something in the past. So I've met, we've met in the past, or yeah, we've met. Um, and then izen is just, yeah, izen. I wonder why it's izen. Anyway, it just means previously, doesn't it? So yeah. Urumofu wa. Wait a minute, let me get the mouse. Urumofu wa shogun ni natta wa uchu heiki programu no shiki wo oh shit makasalete iru no makasu yeah makasu <clears throat> to entrust to leave to a person um 
Shogun? Shogun? Really? Is that a title then? Oh, okay, it's a general now, yeah. General. So Urumofu wa Shogun ni natta wa, so he's become a general. Uh, Uchu Heiki, a uh, space weaponry program, obviously. Just the word program, isn't it? It's English. Uchu Heiki program no shiki wo. So this is like the the implementation or the operation of the 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 the, the space weaponry program. Makasalete iru no. So this is kind of passive. So he he is being entrusted with, or he has been made responsible for, I suppose. And then the te iru means that it's like ongoing, isn't it? So he's 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 in charge of that at the moment. Anata wa naze shiberia e. Oh, sorry, I wasn't using the mouse. Anata wa naze shiberia e. Pretty straightforward. You, why Siberia too? Why why did you come to Siberia? Oh my god. <laughs> I want it to end so I can play. Watashi wa e koku seifu kara okulalete kita okulalete kita mono de nusu mareta heri no chousa no tame ni kitanda. Um so yeah, watashi me or I e koku seifu uh English country government, isn't it? So it's like the English government. Kara or British, I should say. Yeah, British, of course. E koku, British government. Kara oku lale te kita mono de. Um, again, sort of passive. Uh, means like to have been sent. So I have been sent by the British government. Uh, mono de. This is just like a continuer. It's just like a. You, you say all this and then you can link it to another clause with de. And then you can say like a new point afterwards or whatever. Um, nusu mareta nusumu means to steal. And again, kind of passive or like, I don't know, to be acted on or whatever. Um, nusu mareta, so stolen helicopter. Not chousa. Um, chousa is investigation, basically, isn't it? Not tame ni kitanda. Uh, uh, again, like for the sake of, so I came for the purpose of investigating the stolen chopper, uh, Kitanda. Again, Kuru, Kita, past tense of Kuru, meaning to come, or I, uh, therefore I came. And then Unda, um, kind of pretty rude of him actually. Um, yeah, it's a very, very strong kind of way of explaining something. Kitanda. So, yeah, mo in this case, because it's like negative or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think that's true. I think like if it's negative, it basically it becomes any more. So we've got, uh, there is not, or to not be, nigh. To not be any more a need for such a thing, for that such thing. So there's no need for that anymore, basically. <coughs> Nazidai. What a knob. <laughs> I hate the way he talks. Nazidai. Why? Naze nara anata wa spy. Watashi wa sokoku no uragiri mono. Kono mama shokei sareru wa. Oh, having now that I've seen this, I just remembered there was a misreading in uh, um, maybe maybe Surface Two or maybe Frigate. I can't remember, but there was a misreading that I need to point out in the video. I don't know if it was exactly this kanji actually, but it was a similar one. Kono mama shokyo. Shou, no, shokei, shokei sareru wa, shokei. 
it means to execute. I know what it means, but yeah, just a reading of it. Shokei. Okay. Um, so naze nara is kind of like uh, because, basically, isn't it? But I suppose literally it's kind of like um, if you are going to ask why, uh, therefore it kind of means because, yeah. Because anata wa spy. You are a spy. Watashi wa sokoku no uragiri mono. I am... I am a uh, uh, motherland traitor. <laughs> Kono mama in this state or like like this. Uh, I guess it means like here, we will be executed. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Kono mama, shoke sarerua. Yeah, we will be executed. So wa omoi takunai na. Um, takunai. So yeah, again, I don't know why I said again. I don't mean again. But this is omoi uh, tai would be to want to think, doesn't it? And then kunai makes it negative. So it's like I don't want to think that. Yeah, but like, yeah, almost perfectly. Like, um, don't want to think. So, <laughs> I don't want to think so. Um, I kangae ga aru. Uh, uh, a good thought, I suppose. Ga aru. There is a good thought. Or I have a I have a good idea. Do I do it now? Oh, I remember you can talk to the guard, can't you? Gado. Sorry, let me get the mouse. Oi, Gado. What's this? Fukutsu ga hidoi. Tote no kiden ga waruin da. Um, <clears throat> I just want to check the pronunciation of that. Fukutsu. Yeah, okay, good. Stomach ache, abdominal pain. Um, let me just read it again without the stupid voice. So you've got Oi, Gado. Fukutsu ga hidoi. Totemo kibun ga waruinda. Um, so yeah, oi is kind of the same as in, you know, as in English. It's just oi. So he's getting the guard's attention here. Oi gado. Fukutsu ga hidoi. Fukutsu, as I said, is like stomach ache or abdominal pain. And then hidoi is to like be horrible, isn't it? So he's saying my stomach pain is really horrible or I have a horrible stomach pain or whatever. Totemo kibun ga waruinda. Um, very feelings bad. <laughs> so I feel terrible or yeah, my feelings, my feelings. Yeah, I feel terrible is basically what he's saying, isn't it? Okay, so this is just a noise, isn't it? Oh, actually, what's he, what's he got? We've got KB Hay, <laughs> which is like, a, I suppose, a vigilance soldier or a, or a, a guard, obviously. He's, he has to be on alert, keeping an eye on you, so he has to be vigilant. Of the prisoners, <clears throat> so it's a vigilant, vigilance soldier. Um, Oresama, this is a very, very arrogant way of referring to yourself. Um, only do it as a joke, because uh, yeah, you 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 will never really be able to be able to say this in a real situation. Um, although if you're joking, you'll get lots of chances to say it. Um, I used to say it quite a lot. I probably will continue. Um, Onesama. So this is putting an honorific onto your own, referring to yourself with an honorific. Um, and then ore is obviously a very sort of blokey and rough sounding pronoun for I or me or whatever, however it's used. Onesama ga sonna te ni hikakaru. Um, so sonna, as we said before, is like, like that or that sort of, or whatever. 
te ni hikakaru. Hikakaru. Te ni hikakaru. So I guess this is like to be caught in a trap or something. Um, sonna te. Yeah, I don't know why it's te, but maybe it's maybe it's very figurative. Sonna te ni hikakaru. Hikakaru to be caught in, to be stuck in, to be cheated. That's a useful word. <clears throat> That's a useful word to remember. To demo. So this to links it with omo. Um, demo in the middle. I don't really know why it's here. I suppose it lessens the thing said before it. Sonna te ni hikakaru to demo. Like, yeah, maybe it lessens this, the teni hikakaru. So do you think I would even, that's a very literal translation, but do you think I would even fall for that? Um, yeah, I suppose that's the effect demo has. To demo. Hmm. Like you'll see it used when when people invite someone out for like a drink or something, they might say like, they might say something like, Ocha demo, I don't know, um, nomi ni ikimashou or something like that, which is, which is kind of, uh, you know, even for something, just, just for a tea, let's just to have a tea, you know, it doesn't need to be like a, a strong drink or anything fancy, we'll just have a cup of tea maybe, um, yeah, yeah, I guess that's what it's doing. Well, I kind of cleared my own thoughts on that. If that's, I hope that's correct at least, anyway. Um, do I go back to Natalia? Have we got more words to exchange? Oh, she's talking to me. Sonapuran nano. Uh, I can't really get back, but this is Natalia saying this, Natalia. So she's yelling it over from the other cell, I guess. Sonapuran nano. Don't know why it's not a question. I think. I think. This should be a question. I think she's asking like. That was your plan. Or that kind of plan. But it might not be. There might intentionally not be a question mark on it. And she's just kind of saying it to herself. She's kind of like saying. Sonna puran nano. Like. Kind of, oh, that was the plan. Okay, oh, it's that kind of plan. Just saying it to herself. I'm not sure. But sometimes they do that, I've noticed. Things where it would have been better to have, like, a question mark. <clears throat> um, they don't. Like, in Ocarina of Time, I think, like, right near the start, Saria kind of says, like, Ejanai. And it's, like, clearly supposed to be a like a question like seeking agreement but they've just put an exclamation mark so it looks like she's saying Ijanai, which makes no sense at all so the punctuation can be a bit can be a bit awkward in in games i've noticed what do we have here um den kishaku tokei go check that Well, it's, G, it's G Shaku, isn't it? G Shaku. I uh, said the wrong word, yeah. G Shaku. So it's Den. Den G Shaku Tokei. Uh, so this is just like, you know, electricity or electric, magnetic, electromagnetic, perhaps. Tokei is obviously just watch, or, well, it means clock. Normally you'd say ude doke, ude meaning like arm, and then it's an arm clock, which is a wristwatch. But, but clearly you don't have to. Denji shaku doke, maybe, maybe toke. Uh, Alright, I want that. Give me that, what's that say? Dokubo ki. Dokubo ki number two, wo teni reta. So you've got the key for cell number two. Has he noticed? 
No, he hasn't. Oh! Damn. Honto ni kibun ga waruinda. Koku kara dashte kure. So, yeah. Really. Uh, I feel terrible. We've basically covered that, haven't we? Koku kara dashte kure. So, uh, yeah, from here. Uh, deru would be to get out of something, isn't it? And dasu is to, like, get something out. Or in this case, I suppose, to let him out. To get him out of there. Dashte kure. Mm -mm. It's not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm glad he, I'm glad I waited actually. Damare. So damaru means to to shut up basically, doesn't it? Damaru. Um damare is like a imperative order. So it's saying to shut up. Um damare. Kore ijo sawagu na. Sawagu, I've got to check that now. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad I got that. <coughs> Kore ijo sawagu na. So sawagu means to make noise or to be loud, I suppose. And then na, you just put na after the like dictionary form of a verb. And it's a very strong way of saying, don't do that. So you sound like, don't make any more noise. And kore ijo. So kore is like now or this point or yeah, yeah, this point. So kore ijo. And ijo means... Um, no further, I suppose. No further. Finished. To be, to, to, yeah. Kind of, probably no further is a good translation. So he's saying, from this point on, don't make any noise. Uh, Ijo is very often used in, like, um, during presentations or speeches or whatever. People at the end will say, Ijo this. Like, that's the end, like... Yeah, I'm, I'm finished. There is no more sort of thing. I will not, um, yeah, go on. I, I, I don't really have any more to, to say about it, actually. I don't know why I'm still talking about it. Ejol, Ejol this. Right. Is that it? We done, dude? Uh, damene, so that's Natalia again. Uh, damene, so dame means sort of like to be. In fact, I was telling someone the other day, dame is like to be unacceptable or in this case ineffective. Um, yeah, dame. There you go. Kind of sums it up, to be honest. Are you go are you going? Yeah, he's, he's gone. It's been a long, a long video. Okay then. Ugoku na utsuzo. So, as I said before, put na with the default like form of the verb, and it's a strong way of saying don't do something. You're saying ugoku na, like don't move. Utsuzo, like I will shoot. Utsuzo, utsu means to shoot, doesn't it? So utsuzo, so is just kind of a. Um, yeah, just a strengthener, I suppose. Suzo. There are knives down there, aren't they? Do I want them? No, I don't want that. Do I want them? Oi! Tenage? I'm guessing that's Tenage knife or Tetni Irata. So you got the hand throw knife. Uh,. Yeah, I'm not even going to check that. Play for long enough. Whoa! I can't. Nice. Nice. Um, do you let her out now? Or should I do it later? I might leave her for now. Imagine this is going to take a few attempts. Oh, I can get her. How many guards are there in there? Whoa there. Uh Keen ko no Kagi. Number one. Wo teni ireta. So I think we've covered all of these. Safe key. Number one. You got. Whoops. Yeah, you got the key for safe number one. No. 
I just said that one's safe number two then. Damn it. Okay. I'm just gonna go because there's, there's armor over here. Just keep going. Oh, there's armor here somewhere. There's also that, though. Oh. Oh, nice. I got the guards! Yes! Seriously, forget doing this on the English folks. No one's giving me any ammo. Okay, oi! That was another key, right? Oh, the bloody thing. I've got no ammo. <laughs> nice one, dude. Not sure they ever end. Was that the key? No, it wasn't the key to that. I know where there's armor, but I don't know if the doors open or how many guards are in there. Damn it! <clears throat> Whoops! I suppose I could just save state. <laughs> yeah, I, might, I think I might. There, nice. Okay, I've got the key for safe number two. I'm supposed to be destroying the cameras, I just remembered. Nice one, bro. There's the tape. Um, yeah, I think I'll just save stay again. Damn. <laughs> Bloody hell. Job I did. Oh. Whoa. No, dude. Um, Alright, let's get another one. Oh. I don't want to just start going after it, this gun is, seriously. Bullshit. Must be guards behind me. Nah, <laughs> you joking? Whoops. Why is he aiming at the wall? No ammo. Whoa. Okay. Oh, 
just the wrong time. Can't get it. I can't get it. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, so I'll take it. Okay. Oh. Oh damn, I missed that. What was that? Aka. Looks like I can put that on the screen. Much better this time. Oh, I'm throwing it away now, though. There, there's the list of the, of the dead there. Um, okay, maybe I can take this now. Is that like a refill? I don't know where the other safe is. Is it down here? Oh my god. That's the last camera. Quite right, nice. That's all the cameras. No keys. The safe over here. Um, Alright, let's have a look. Uh, staff list. Okay. Natari Atotomori Dashitsu Seyo. So I just need to get this other list from somewhere. And then escape with an Italia. Uh, where is this list, though? I've done that one. I don't even know. How can I not? How do I not know this? It doesn't make sense for it to be over here. Right. Let's go that way. <laughs> what is this part of the level four? Right, if it were real, what would that be for? Um, nothing in here. I really don't have a clue. It's not down here, is it? There are no other rooms. Are there? <laughs> nice picture. Um, I don't know. Unless it's just unless you compare the lists when you like get back or something. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, there you go. That's where it is. Why were the two safe keys? Is it just? Two keys for a single safe. We always like doing this, putting them all together and breaking all the glass. Like that. Uh, no one here. Is she? Is she coming? Come along now. Uh, uh. Oh! Damn it! Why don't I pause it? Nigenaktewa. So, Nigeru is to run away. Um, and then Nigenakute wa naranai means must, but obviously you don't need to say all of it. You can just say Nigenakute wa. She said Hayaku. I don't. I didn't catch what she said before that, unfortunately. But again, maybe I can write it on the screen. Alright, that's that. 
Um, thanks for watching. Hope it was useful. And uh, see you next time.